Number 24, the last question in paper one of the Higher Maths 2009 exam. Use the fact that 7 pi upon 12 can be made from adding these two parts, pi upon 3 and pi upon 4 together, find this exact value. Well, it's just told you what to do. It says split this into those two parts. So instead of having this, I'm going to write the sign of pi upon 3 plus pi upon 4 because both of those are angles for which I know the exact values of sines and cosines. I've got my 60 degrees and my 45 degrees. This one I didn't know, but by splitting up I'm going to change it into parts that I do know. So you check at the front, what's the expansion of sine a plus b? That'll be sine pi upon 3, cos pi upon 4, plus switch them over, whichever way around you like, cos pi upon 3, sine pi upon 4 and then putting the values in if you're quite confident of them, or if you're not, just considering the triangles that would have generated them in the first place, maybe just re-putting them back into degrees. The 45 degree triangle is 1, 1, root 2. The 30, 60 triangle is 1, 2, root 3, with the ones opposite the short side. The pi upon 3 is 60. So the sine of 60, opposite 60, root 3. So that's root 3 upon hypotenuse 2. Cosine of pi upon 4, doesn't matter which sine and cosine are both the same. They're both 1 upon the hypotenuse root 2. Cos of pi upon 3, cos of 60. What's next to 60 adjacent is 1, so it's 1 upon 2. And sine pi upon 4 is again 1 upon root 2. Notice you've got the same denominator, so I'll just put that down once. So it's all over 2 root 2. This side says I've got root 3, and that side says I've got 1. Well, that would just do nicely then. So there would be the exact value. <clears throat> Rationalise the denominator for which there's no need in this particular case. You could multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. Doing that would then give you a root 6 plus a root 2 over 2 times 2, which is 4, which you could have instead. Part B then. Show that sine A plus B and sine A minus B is equal to this. Right, well, I'll treat that as an identity, so I'm going to start with this. Left-hand side equals. I'll take this side and rearrange it to look like this side. So this side will be, obviously, just use those expansions, which you've either remembered or you just looked at at the front. So sine A plus B, sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, sine A minus B, same thing. Sine A cos B, but minus cos A sine B. Then some parts will go cos A sine B, cos A sine B, positive, negative. I'm just left with two of those, so that just equals two lots of sine A cos B, which equals the right-hand side. C, part one. Express pi upon 12 in terms of pi upon 3 and pi upon 4. That's like saying express a twelfth in terms of thirds and quarters. Well, that would be a third. Take away a quarter, a third being bigger. So that's just going to be pi upon 3 minus pi upon 4. One third minus one quarter being four twelfths minus three twelfths is one twelfth. That's the first part. Hmm. Second part, hence or otherwise find the exact value of this, of sine 7 pi upon 12 plus sine pi upon 12. Now you could work this out from scratch the same way as you did in part A when you did this one, using that subtraction for it, or you could think, well that must be something to do with part B. If I've got the sum of, because after all what this is, I've got the sum of, and 7 pi upon 12 was pi upon 3 plus pi upon 4, and then I've got plus the sine of and that was pi upon 3 minus pi upon 4, and that's the same expression here. So from part B, I could just say without copying all those parts down and working this out, from this part B, if I've got the sine of the sum and the sine of the difference, it should come to this. It should just come to 2 sine, where A was pi upon 3, and B was pi upon 4. So straight away, I would have 2 times, same triangles, 
Pi up in three, I've rubbed them out, I've put them down again, it doesn't take long to do them. I've got my 30, 60, I know it's in radians, but I'll just put it in this way, one, two, root three, and I've got my 45, one, one, root two, it takes no time at all to put those down. Pi up in three, that's 60 degrees, sine of 60 is the opposite, that's root three up in two. So I've got two times, root three up in two, cos pi up in four, cos is adjacent, wouldn't make any difference, sine or cosine, they're both the same, one upon root two, which gives me the twos will cancel out, leaving it as root three upon root two. Or if you wanted to rationalise that by multiplying the top and the bottom by root two, root two times the top, root six, root two times the bottom, two, whichever.